Hey guys, and welcome to episode 90 of What's in the Bag. And what do we got today? Uh, today's theme is horror movies. With with the exception of one thing that's thrown in there. And I'll explain why. It's in there. Just because I picked it up today, literally like two hours ago. I wanted to go and throw it in. And we're going to start with something that is gorgeous that Michael found for me. And it is, this is definitely going to be a display piece. The Alien Legacy on VHS. It says Alien Aliens Special Edition, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, and then a bonus VHS of special features, which is so cool. It was kind of rare to see VHSs with any sort of special features on it. Um, Usually they would have maybe bloopers or like occasionally deleted scenes and they would have to put them at the end of the movie after the credits. Um, but it's really cool that they did this as a whole s separate tape. Um, yeah, the box is just, I mean, it's spectacular. I mean, it's in like absolutely perfect shape. And these were all THX digitally remastered. Um, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to watching the original Alien on VHS because I've never seen it on VHS. So, yeah, that is going to be a display piece, most definitely. And here's that thing that I told you that was an extra one. And it is Wonder Woman Steelbook. Uh, I finally went and picked it up today. They, I literally got one of the last ones at Best Buy, so I was so happy um, that they didn't sell out. So, yeah, I picked it up today. I'm like, well, I'm going to throw it in there. But the rest of this is all for it. Uh, right, uh, what do we got here? Oh yes, my brother found these uh, when he was cleaning up his closet and he forgot he had them so we can have these to display. And it is the Scream Trilogy on DVD and these are the Dimension Collectors uh, series. Which is something that I know that he, it's one of the series that he wants to start collecting but he hasn't gone out of his way to find them all yet. It's they're on his list but it's nice to have all three of them uh we could not remember whether these came in a box or not um i don't think they did i think that they just all happened look at the back side is there a upc on it yeah so i i think that they all were released separately they just did a really good job of releasing them and the spines are incredibly clean, very well organized. I like it. Uh, yeah, love these movies, love them. This was something weird. I had never seen it before. And there's some mystery. This is the unrated collector's edition of Saw 5. And it's this weird little box that has a button that says push here. You thought it was over, but the games have just begun. And the blade does, is supposed to spin. It's push, not this time. Push it, push it a what? little closer together. You thought it was over. Oh. But the games have just begun. There we go, the plastic was stopping it. I got it. <sighs> yeah. Um, but here's the weird thing. So I take this out to see and it's saw six that's in here and then on the other side is the original saw so this is the collector's edition of saw five that doesn't have saw five in it at all but it has one and six it's odd i don't know but honestly it didn't matter i wanted it for the box alone it's a little beat up but i mean look at the way the box is put together it's not going to hold up great but it will now that it's in our care um so i'm gonna have to find a version of the unrated edition of saw 5 on dvd to be able to put in here it's a special disc yeah um, and last things we got are something that, well, they're probably just about my favorite things. One of my favorite things that I own in general. And it is the Universal Monster series 
all seven of them on limited edition Blu-ray steelbooks. Uh, and I'm going to try to do this right. I'm going to take these. These all have these really nice uh, slip covers on them, but I'm going to take them off so I can show you the artwork real quick. Because the, each one has beautiful artwork on the front done by Alex Ross, who is a comic book artist, and he has also done some work with some different studios on posters and things like that. They're all black and white monochrome, and they're just gorgeous. Let's start with Dracula. That's the front cover artwork. And on the back, the back is nice and simple of each one. It's just the title of the movie, but it's done in the original style of the original poster. The font is. And I love that. This is The Invisible Man. Creature from the Black Lagoon. My personal favorite out of all of the Universal Monster movies is this one. Wolfman. Bride of Frankenstein. Frankenstein. And my second favorite, and definitely my favorite out of all the steel books, just for the art alone, The Mummy. I love these. I've been waiting on these for probably close to nine months. I'm so happy they finally came out, and I had no problem dropping the money necessary to pick them all up. Um, but that's all I have for this time. Uh, our new overall total is $24.19. Our new steelbook total is 267, which is awesome. And our new VHS total is 227. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, it'll probably be Michael on the next one. So, see you later.